Uh, we're live, and it is not our second time recording. I be family, truly flow, flow, ready, set, go, wavy like show, dropping new bits and collecting a dough, keep it a hundred, you already know, we never frontin' but stuntin' for show from JD to PJ, we keepin' y'all hook like replay, let's see Ray, deliver the goods, no delay, y'all too busy cuffin', we... What day is it today? Monday. Monday. Today's Monday, April 7th? 6th? 6th. 6th. Dude, the first podcast, boys. This is this is exciting. Uh, we've wanted to do this for quite some time, so it's a, it's not the best setup, but hey, it's 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 a setup. <coughs> well, first of all, I hope everyone who's watching this is safe. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys are staying inside, doing whatever you can to to help our country, our your city, family, friends, the world get back on their feet, man. Because <laughs> let me tell you one thing, I miss sports. Yeah, sports is a big thing, especially Dodger baseball. The Dodgers were. Getting- well, it's not over yet. What do you What do you think? Is it over? I As of right now, do you think we're gonna have a season? I don't see. If we're being realistic, I don't see a season in sight. Because as soon as one person gets it, once we start back up, it's gonna get shut down again. See, but I heard today. And this is like not sports related, but just uh, what's going on. I heard today that the the stuff that's happening in Europe, like the, the cases, are slowly going down. You know what I'm saying, and I guess this is our peak week, so. No, the tenth. The tenth is our peak. You know what I'm saying. So I feel like if that if we're on if we're on track to recovery, it can. Because in North Korea, they 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 started baseball already. What? They started baseball already. Yep. Are let's, you serious? Let's take a pause. I think you mean South. South. Sorry, South Korea. North Korea. Oh, yeah, how do you know? It, it just so on like, Twitter and like like who's that dude? Who's that dude? Not Ro- Ken Rosenthal. Really. He, he tweeted, or no, it wasn't him. I got it. It was, it was like a, a relatable, like relatable source, reliable source, and said South Korea. So South, South Korea. South Korea. <laughs> South Korea is, is good because they everyone took everything seriously. They they enforce rules. Well, they, we're taking it seriously. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> no. Okay, do you think a baseball player has it right now? Definitely. Where at though? Yeah, you, like, you can say Yankee player has it. Yeah, New York, dude. New York is serious. New York, uh, on April, okay, I might be wrong, but like on April 25th, supposed to be 800 people are going to start dying a day. Like that's what the number is. <clears throat> Here, uh, on the 10th, it's 100. And like, no joke, dude. Like I was at the grocery store and this guy, everything suited up, talking about face masks, gloves. He just comes up to me and like, I'm in a line. The lines are ridiculous mm-hmm. too. I'm in a line and he comes up to me and he's like, dude, this is just crazy, whatever, yada, yada. And like, he seemed like he was a sports guy. He had like LA stuff on. And I was like, yeah, like, it's just been crazy without without sports. And then he starts going on about like New York and and just like um, here. And he says something crazy like that I haven't heard is like, if you're not being serious, you could take a man's family away. I was yeah. like, that's facts. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. But like, the way that he said it was like, dang, dude, people, it's true. Like, people aren't taking it seriously, but. <clears throat> I brought up some numbers on just cases. Uh, us, as in the U.S., and also us, have a little over 350,000 confirmed people with it uh however t- about 20,000 have recovered and about uh 10,000 have perished which it's usually the vulnerable ones with like the uh like bad uh immune systems and stuff like that yeah it's like it's weird do you guys have that feeling it's like this is like almost like the walking dead kind of crap you know what I'm saying it's like dude there's be like one day it's just like I don't know hopefully that doesn't happen but I mean it's still it's still scary to think about you know what I'm saying so yeah are you ready for the talk of this being a whole setup just being just trying to scare us as citizens okay you're you're that guy Do do you think this is set up what do you mean this? There. <laughs> There's no just one. You can't just say is this a set. Okay, first of all, how do you believe this started? Like, what do you, what do you, what have you heard? 
I have heard that some man in a country ate a bat, ate a living wild bat, mm. which is obviously not the most sanitary thing to eat. Okay, but it could be a cultural but thing. But how did the bat get it? That's my problem. I thought animals can't track. Well, it's... See, that's where I have no idea, because I've also heard it was a man-made virus. I also heard it can't infect animals, but I've heard tigers are getting it now. Tigers, we'll, let's... We'll get, we'll get into that. Okay. <laughs> we'll get into tigers. Tigers. In a little bit, for sure. But I, I don't know how it started. Most likely, I can see a slight possibility of being in the realm of chances that it is being used as a weapon to possibly depopulate the earth. I don't want to get that far. Maybe that's episode two. No, if we're, you guys we're good. like enough, if you guys hit that like button, I might go any Bravo on everyone. No, I'm telling you guys, you guys are sleeping on JD. My man watches conspiracy theories every night. Yeah, no. We all we all have our thing and I think I think Jenny is is that guy where you ask a question and he just goes deeper into what you actually asked him. Drop a like. I don't want to say it. Ten? Ten likes. Ten. Ten likes. Ten likes. That's not that bad. We'll go a whole episode just on conspiracy. And we'll all collect whatever we like wanna put on the table. And yeah, we'll talk about it. Because we, we want you guys to be back too. I know, because this is this is our first time, so we're yeah. we're gonna go on. I mean this is this is us being real. No acts. Mm-hmm. No, no music videos, no nothing. This is us. Okay, so I mean, I don't know. Really, uh... I, tigers. I think. Listen, BJ. BJ has shown me. I've I've heard about it on social media. I've heard about it. BJ came up to me. We were we, he didn't come up to me. We were in the car, and he's like, "Dude, have you seen this documentary called Tiger King?" I'm like, "No, I've heard about it. I've seen." Oh, Carol Baskin and Joe Zadik. I've, I've seen the picture, I've seen the name. This fool probably gave me the mo- the best advice and wisdom ever on watching that show. Because, man, once I saw it, I was hooked. I haven't, been, I haven't stopped watching it. It's going crazy. Really? If you haven't seen it, most of you guys have probably seen it. Most of you guys have seen, like, the memes and all the, all the stuff on social media. But it is probably one of my favorite documentaries slash shows I've ever seen. Dude. The, when you look at it, it's like hillbillies. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to know what you eat at night and what you killed and ate. All right? Spoiler alert. Anyone who makes an appearance on that documentary is hillbilly. No. I don't know why that would be a spoiler. And, and Surprise. Stone, and Stone Cold. Like, nobody cares oh. about a life. But, just give it a chance if you're a skeptic. Because I was too and I just... The They're first not episode. Us. That's how you know. They're not sponsoring us, and we say it's good. Yeah. The first episode was like a 5 out of 10. The rest, though. Yeah, because I remember we were watching it together. Me, me and BD were watching it together. He's like, yeah, dude, you got like, let's just let's just sit down. If you, if you don't like it, we'll do something else. He's like, the first episode, it's not that good. Just go to number two if you want to get hooked. I'm like, alright, so I haven't seen the first episode. I might go back and watch it. But man. Every one of those people on like they didn't have to talk and I and I was cringing like they like I saw their faces I saw their missing teeth. Mm-hmm. Listen, I have big teeth. I'm really blessed I have big teeth because some of them don't have teeth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna ask you something, BJ. Do you think for people who don't know, haven't seen it, I'm sorry this might be a spoiler. Do you think Carol Baskin killed her ex-husband? Without, without. A missing pore in my body. <laughs> she killed that man, dude. I swear. Like, there's no way. First of all, we got to go with the facts. I'm going to hit you with the facts first. She went and changed the whole thing of who's going to get whose money, right? And then the way that somebody dies. Like, that guy even said, 37 years of working and this, like, as a, what, what was he? A, he was a, a lawyer, lawyer or something? He was, he was a lawyer, lawyer, yeah. 37 years of working on this thing. I've never heard somebody say like just in case I disappear. Like dude, it was wasn't it written on the will? He's like just yeah. in case I disappear, have this money yeah. go. To and it. she changed it. So yeah. like, dude, there's no way that that happens. There's just no way. Yeah. Someone then, someone dropped the ball in the police department. Whoever investigated that. Well, like, okay. Well, we were all watching it out of 
all three of us, you were the quietest. What was going through your head watching this show? I, I just thought, man, if the, all this over some tigers, and these are just some people down in Kentucky. It's Oklahoma. Get it right. Don't you? Uh, I don't disrespect Joe. Joe Johnny. It was Oklahoma, Florida, I think. I'm sorry, Joe. Joe, I'm sorry. What I thought during all this, if these, every single person in this was two-faced and manipulative over some tigers, imagine what is going on. Around the world. Yeah, that's a good point. That really is a good point. That's where my mind goes. And I think the funniest part about that is, like, it's, like, they, they started their own zoos, but it has nothing to do with tigers. Only with themselves. Like, it's like, if you want to learn about tigers, don't watch that don't show. Watch, I told you, dude, in the beginning, the title isn't going to do justice. Like, the real animals are the people in that show. Yeah, and you hit it on the spot. Dude, it's, it's I want crazy. you to look into that camera and tell them the line that you said about the animals and the humans. <laughs> um, Dude, and this is, this is also crazy, too. It's like, I told Colton and JD about this show as we were going up to the house of Kenley Jensen. Kenley, if you if you watch if you ever watch, hook us up with some tickets. Do something. If we have about a season, it. if we have a season, do <laughs> something about it. It's just three. Help, of us. help us reach Kenley, okay? Three beautiful, beautiful house, by the way. I know it's kind of yeah. We were a little stalker. Yeah, we were driving to PV, and I was like, I was like, dude, is there any famous people that live in PV? And I was and. Uh, I saw a picture a while back. It's like, dude, Kenny Jansen was at PV High School. I'm like, dude, I think he was up here. So we, we found it. And if you guys have a chance to see a millionaire's house, why go, not? go, you go know see what I'm it. Like, man. especially in PV, dude, PV is beautiful. And the top closer from your favorite team, do if you have that chance, take that chance. Yeah. yeah so BJ, why, don't, why don't you tell him the okay. line you said so we're about on the show? The, I forget how it goes, but I'm gonna have to try to hit it on the nail again. We're going up to Kenley's house, and like, <clears throat> we're driving through PV, and I'm just like looking up. Had all the plants and the beautiful houses, and I'm like, everything looks so, like this is in my head. Everything looks so beautiful, but like, you just never know what's inside a person. Like, yeah, just crazy. So, I wanted Colton to watch the show with me because I was like watching it too, and I was, and he asked me like, what's it about or like, what am I supposed to be um, expecting? And I was like, I said something like. The name of the show is Tiger King, but the Kings. No, no, no. You said like it's about animals, oh, yeah. but you come to realize that humans are the uh, real animals. Are the real animals, something like along those lines. And like after that, we went to go. We went um, back to Colton's, watched it, and it was just insane. Yeah, dude. And then I think because you you watched what episode one through five, right? Yeah. And then we got hooked. I'm like, dude, you gotta come over. We'll watch, we'll yeah, watch, we'll watch six and seven together. Dude, it was just so disgusting, like the way that these people worked, that I couldn't finish like episode five. Cause when Travis goes, and like just all that, like all at once, and the funeral was terrible. Like I don't know how you can ever do that in front of somebody's family, man. Like you gotta watch it, but like that was that was like insane to me. And then, like, just still trying to use his name to help you run for governor. Like, that's how I saw it. Yeah. That was just, like, wrong, dude. And, like, we can also make an argument, like, J.D. kind of looks like Joe Exotic. So, I think, like... <laughs> no, he <it> does. <laughs> I'm the hair down. This is Agro Handlebars. No, no. Okay, how about this? Who is our character's personalities in real life? Because I know J.D.'s... No. Right now. No, no, no. None. Right now, JD's is a. Uh, no, don't speak <laughs> who, Who's a? Uh, who's that guy with the? Uh, he looks like he's been in a freaking Geico insurance commercial. That big dude. He's who, like, got glasses and he's uh, super long hair. Oh my gosh, the dude in the beginning, right? Yeah. He like where he testified against Joe. What that guy. guy. He's got long hair. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name, Anyways, dude. For, like, I'm not saying it looks like you, but like your personality, you know, like laid back, but. When it's time to get down to business. Guy. Because there was, there was, they were talking about how Joe had two boyfriends and he married two of them. Yeah. And they asked each character, like, oh, so how do you feel about that? And then it went up to that dude, were you talking about him? He said, I don't give a F. Like, he's like, why the F do I care? Oh. I think, I think that, 
I think that fits you. Yeah. Never seen that episode. Sorry. BJ. <laughs> what, what is what is BJ? Yeah, what am I? What is BJ's Tiger King character? You're a Jeff Lowe to me. Jeff Lowe. I'm just Lowe? kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I feel like you, me, like, the way I see you is that dude who, had, like, lost his legs. He was loyal until the end. I'm saying, like, okay, and then, yeah, like, yeah. you were loyal, and then, like, once you saw stuff going down, you, like, you know how dirty Joe was and how that operation was. You popped out, like, yeah, no, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to ruin my family because of this. Yeah. I mean. I see that from you. No, I see the. Uh... Yeah, sorry for the sorry, sorry for the background noise. We're just, our dogs are going. We're just right chilling now. at the crib. Yeah, we're chilling at the crib right now, so it's not the it's not the best. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go keep keep on. No, I think um, not <laughs> that you're not straight or nothing, but like your personality, <laughs> your personality uh -oh. speaks like Joe. Cause like, me? Yeah, like you're very like uplifting, like always like, well, not the dark side of Joe, but like. You know, like how he's always like down to do something, like I send it all. I, I do send it all. Build, um, I don't know, something. Yeah, sure, let's go. All like, right. like don't think about it, just do it. Yeah. Live life. I, I can see that, and that's kind of how, it, like, like you know, Joe, like that's how, that's how we, me and you met. So yeah. <laughs> actually, I don't. Actually, guys, do you remember how this whole thing started? Like our channel. Mm. Do you guys know where we're at? JD, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like. I was low key like scared of you. I guess, I guess, a little bit, just cause like, I don't know, intimidating in a way that, um, <clears throat> you're just a big dude, but like, and you were like on the baseball team, you got a ring, and I was like, uh, I don't know. Thank you. I don't know if this guy is like one of the other guys that was on the baseball team from before. No, the total opposite, like, just like welcoming and stuff. So, I did appreciate that. But, like, at first, we never really talked, huh? Like, it was more like, what's up? How you yeah. doing? And, like... Then we started recording. Rapping, dude. I would have never thought. Yeah. Because okay. for people who don't know me and BJ, me and BJ are, like, literally, like, fame. Like, me and him are, like, oh, yeah. be best friends. Like, no, we're brothers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and him went to the same middle school. We weren't... We didn't really hang out. Never. We had two different friend groups. We were on the same travel team, the I Jacks. Had, I had a Mexican... A uh, basketball team, and you had like I had the Asians, dude. Asian white, like you guys were good at basketball. Shane Sato, just... bro. Sh shout out to Shane, yeah. Dan, uh, Tyler. Let's see. I think those those like the Morimoto, only two. Morimoto, Morimoto too, yeah. Um, and then uh, like more people came once high school. I was like Daniel, mm -hmm. all like all them, but yeah, me and you had different friend groups. We played the same travel yeah, team. We're on, we're on the Jacks. And, like I knew, like we were we didn't were cool, like friends. But I think. Your dad, year? your dad literally was a pitching coach for our... Yeah, my dad was the coach, your dad was a coach. Like, we we were, like, in each other's life. We weren't talking. We wouldn't hang out, you know what I'm saying? I don't so, know why. I think, what, our sophomore year? I think sophomore year. It was probably sophomore year. And we're like, dude, like, me and him used to always freestyle, like, high school. Like, we would freestyle, like, on the bus rides everywhere. And, like, this is kind of when, like, SoundCloud was kind of hot. Like, everyone learned to do SoundCloud. We're like, dude, let's do SoundCloud. What do you think we're all that? You would come over... Like, I created a SoundCloud account. We used to do a garage band. Me and JD used to make songs back in the day. Oh, when we lived in Long Beach, me and JD used to make songs. Those are in the... If anyone wants a... No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. If anyone wants a nice dose of... Go to my second channel, Mr. Wheezy714. Oh, just the name. Just, just just, put the name up on the screen. You'll, you'll see it. There it is. Bang. And if you have Colton on Twitter... Retweet that. We might, something. we might yeah. tweet something. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tweet, I'll tweet out the channel name. But uh, we're talking like middle school for me, elementary school for him. Yeah, maybe. fifth grade, fourth and fifth grade. I think mostly fifth grade because we but were in Long Beach. That separates us. We actually do videos. I'm not saying they're good. I'm not <laughs> saying they are good at all. We we put it out there. We said, yeah. screw it, we sound like a bunch of chipmunks high on helium. <laughs> That's pretty And we did it. And it wasn't good, it was fun, it's out there. And now one day, I'm gonna tell my great grandkids, hey, open up your hologram whatevers and watch this video that Pat Pop put out there. Okay. So, that's, that's how I knew, like, we were able to do that, because me and Jay used to do on GarageBand on the Mac. I was like, BJ, like, dude. 
I, I know how to like upload beats to this to GarageBand and we'll record. And then there was also a friend, shout Eric Small, dude. Um, Eric uh, Small, Eric, me, him, Hall and DJ. Honestly, dude, Eric, if you see this video, bro, I miss you. I love you. Hope everything's yeah, well. Uh, for real. He was a part of this. He was a part of Independent Productions. That was that was our original SoundCloud name. We're like, dude, what is it? Like, what's it gonna be our SoundCloud thing? Independent Productions. Like, dude, we do everything on our own. Dude, low key, Eric start like started it. Like, Eric, yeah, Eric jumped. Eric was part of it, man. Mm -hmm. And so, does was, Eric does Eric watch us? Do you guys know? I don't know. I mean, oh, Eric, he probably does, man. I mean, Come on, we gotta get it going. You helped us start this. Yeah, he you gotta be on the track. He he was a great above us, so. He graduated when we were juniors, um, and then he went to San, San Jose, right? San Jose State, or? I think San Jose. He was getting his education. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, he moved away, so we didn't hang out uh, as much after that. Um, but dude, he, we would freestyle, he would come over, we would rap, and so, you know, me and him really got connected, I think, through music, in a way. And like that just got the ball rolling, we'd hang out every day, like, he'd come over to my house, like, after practice, or like... Even before whenever, season. Whenever we could record. Yeah, just, just we did it. And then... And it was nothing yeah. serious. It was just to, like, have fun. Yeah, yeah. and so if you want to see our SoundCloud independent production, same as our... Listen, it may not be the best, but what the way I see it is that every time we upload something, we are improving and we are on the right path. You know what I'm saying? And since day one of this channel, the SoundCloud link has been on our main channel, top right corner. It's yeah, little... so if you want to see OG, not the best music, just want to, like, oh, okay, go there. Because that's how we started. Just, just think a bunch of high schoolers on SoundCloud, just making a good time. So yeah, so that's basically how me and BJ got, like, really connected, so. Um, Bro, let me tell you a good point. When I saw, <clears throat> when I saw you guys, um... With that YouTube channel you guys first had, ever, it reminded me so much of ours, because you guys just went off a, a script. I don't know if the people notice at all, but I notice it. I'm sure you guys notice it too. The reason why I like our channel so much is because we can literally focus on anything we want. It doesn't have to be one thing. It could be a skit. It could be a song. It could be like a music video. It could be a freaking podcast like we're doing right now. Like, we yeah. can just go anywhere we want to. It's not like, all right, today we're going to be checking out this guy's sneakers uh, collection or something. Or, oh, we're going to be doing a, we're going to be playing the same video game every single time. Like, yeah. it's like, I don't know. It's we want to try vlogging, variety, too. Yeah. We want to try vlogging, but it's hard. Let's, I want, I want you guys' help. Or not, I guess help. What do you guys like? that we do. Is it songs? Is it videos? We just want feedback. You can tell us that everything we do is crap and that's feedback. Yeah. I'll take that over nothing. Yeah. Honestly. Just what do you guys like, don't like? It helps us, it'll help you guys see things that you wanna like or wanna like and like. Yeah. So um, help us out with that. Yeah, that would, like we would obviously appreciate that, you know, because feedback is really important for us too, is cause like I think our mindset is like, oh, if we like it, we put it out, which is good, you know what I'm saying? Like, we shouldn't care what other people think, in a way, but like, it also helps to like, helps us grow, helps you guys be more, like, enjoy more videos, so, I think feedback is important too, so if, if you like this podcast and we keep going, just, what, just keep liking that button, subscribe, just freaking help us out. Um, so, we have a few minutes left on this segment, the producers are telling me to wrap it up, so... Do you guys want to play a quick, because we have no sports, we have no Dodgers, do you want to play a quick... Oh, you guys didn't ask my question. Like, do you guys remember when we started this, though, like, filming? Oh, oh, oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got so much track, bro. Was, like, our first... You guys remember, like, you guys remember, we were sitting in the car. Like, yeah, we had Fundo Bundle. Right. Fundo Bundle, like, we made that music video because, like, we, we put that song on SoundCloud and, like, all my friends started singing it, like, in class. I'm like, dude, Fundo Bundle, like... They knew the lyrics. I'm like, dude, that's kind of cool. So we made a music video, and then we were super into Key and Peele at the, like at, at the oh time. God, yeah. Key and Peele was like a huge inspiration, and so we were sitting in the car before a softball game, and we were watching Key and Peele. I'm like, I'm like, guys, what if we filmed skits? And like, dude, let's just do it. And so I think that's what kind of like that was like after our first two music videos. Yeah, we did Fundo Bundle and then Goat, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, dude, let's just do skits, cause like links in the description. 
Yeah, so that's kind of how it started. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool and just like how just things play out after that. And you know, we kind of found our, our, our ground, you should say. But, we're yeah, gonna keep, we're gonna keep going though, we're never gonna stop. Yeah, I mean, no matter how many subscribers, no matter what the views do, we're gonna keep going. We, 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 we love entertaining, man, it's fun. No matter how many husbands get killed. Yeah, Carol Baskins. Oh good, before we start the game, if you made it this far in the video, um, I want you to say in the comments, corn nuts with chocolate milk. <laughs> That'll be it. All right. So if you guys are loyal like that, I want to hear that in the comment. Corn so, nuts with chocolate milk. Talking about corn nuts. Hashtag. So we have literally like three minutes of fill space left. So did you set up a timer? No, but that's just an estimate. Well, like yeah, we have like thirty minutes of fill, with, like actual space left. Oh, what do you do? Fair so, enough. Do you guys want to test your knowledge in the Dodger universe? Just how numbers. many years back? No, no, no. We're just we're just going Jersey numbers here. Oh numbers? man. Okay, we might have to make it a little difficult, but I'm down with that. Let's go. Okay. So, I'm gonna say. Do you guys want to do like uh, raise your hand or like hit hit the table? We'll go um, back and forth. So one question will go up. You can answer first. I'll answer second, then the next question, I'll answer first, okay. you answer second. Yeah. Okay. Until we get it wrong. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Number. Wait, Stop. is this current and former? Mm -hmm. Current. Okay. 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 Number 52. Okay, dude, honestly, is it Gavin Lux? It is not. <laughs> it's 52. This is a bullpen guy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll go with Baez. It is biased. Oh Correct. My gosh. One. Dude, come on. I'm a PO and I should know that. Number two. So who am I asking for? So no, he he stole it, so All right. it's his Well no, it'll go me this time and then yeah, the like, answer Yeah, exactly. Okay. But you stole my point, so it'll be still your turn. Alright. Number fourteen. Kike. Kike. Number thirteen. Months. Muncie, it's Oh, you keep going to you answer. Oh no, you're not. Yeah, give him this point. You, you guys you guys both say at the same time anyways. Well, I made it. I did. I did a mistake. Number seventeen. Is it Alex Wood? Incorrect. Is it me? Now it is. Now it is. Duh. Um, seventeen. That's a tough one. Bullpen? Uh, I can't. No, don't give me clue. It's Ferguson. Who? Ferguson. <laughs> it is not Ferguson. Okay. Ferguson. The correct answer is Joe Kelly. Whoa, oh my God. What? <laughs> At least one has a seven. It's, he's seven, isn't he? Who is number fifty-seven? How about these bullpen guys, bro? Floro. No. Let's go. I need an answer. Um. Jackie Robbie. No, it is Alex Wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, who's going first? Um. Okay, wait. You, you literally, literally have to answer at the same time. Okay, this will be the last one, and then we'll sign it off for now. Number... Number... Oh, come on, who's like, actually... Number... 11. Damn. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing it. Wait, is it a player? Or like a it is a player. Starter or bench? Eh. Beatty. No. <sighs> you, can, you can guess that one too. Pollock is wow. Okay. I, do, I do not listen. I do not <laughs> consider him a Dodger yet. He has to yeah. do something in the right. postseason. Better prove yourself, buddy. So, thank you guys for watching all the way through. If you even have, Appreciate make sure you yeah. comment corn nuts, chocolate milk, all that. Let us know what you want to see, what you hate, what you like, anything else. Um, stay safe, everybody. Stay again. safe, love, please. Love all you guys. Yeah. Whether you're rocking with us, whether. You're whether you're hating us, doesn't matter. Much love. That's it. Share love. Wash your hands. And stay cool, you big cats and kittens out there. Yeah, sure. yes.